Start with a simple introduction. Only what you are going to do about that introduce. I am doing a meditation program where I am supposed to heal and complete myself and others. So you are part of my life. So I am doing the completion with you. Simple words. Then tell what is completion means. Understand, I understand all this has happened in our life, many things. So now I, I realize that I am responsible. What has happened outside is different and feeling hurt, I am only responsible. I tell you, whatever happens outside, you don't need to feel hurt. I can give you one example from my own life. Let me tell you a story from my life. At the age of five or four and a half, my mother went and cried to my grandma, grandfather, my mother's father, her father. She went and cried, I cannot handle this guy anymore. See, my family used to tell, I am like, a, I used to be like a Shiva Bhuta in a body, means some one ton weight, one ton means how many pounds? 1000 kg, around 2000 pounds, one ton weight, he could cart, I will tumble it by one hand. Not just the psychological strength I demonstrated, the physical strength I demonstrated, my mother used to get <laughs> frightened. She goes and tells my grandfather, I feel some Bhuta has come inside him. 2,200 pounds he could cart. Once my mother told me, call your uh, uncle. He was sleeping in that cart. I went and called him, uncle, uncle, mama, mama in Tamil. He did not wake up. I just tumbled the cart. <laughs> <laughs> He's rolling. <laughs> Actually, he got up. <laughs> he got up and ran away, <laughs> thinking that some yarkwak has happened. <laughs> you see, you can never imagine a car tumbling. <laughs> a chair tumbling is okay. A car tumbling and. <laughs> <laughs> now still I can remember the scene. He thought some earthquake happened and he ran. Like this many of my adventures. Very powerful physically. She could not handle. She went and told my grandfather that I am not able to handle this fellow anymore. You put him in the school. And they took me to the school. My grandfather, one fine morning, took me to the school. And that school half was built by my grandfather. Means he, he donated the money. So he took, the, uh, took me to school and the whole school is literally respects him and under him. In the front itself there will be a big stone wall. Money donated by my grandfather's name and all will be there. The stone plug. So he walked into the school and told the school, hey, uh, admit this fellow. My, the headmaster said, no, age is not there. You have to have a minimum age. My grandfather said, no, you, whatever age you want, you put. No, that is the way in my certificate I am older than original. Originally I am born in 1978, January 1st. In the certificate, one year before I am born. And anyway, we don't have a problem in India, it is normal. How many of you have the same problem in India? Ah, in India, it is normal. <laughs> so, my grandfather said, you put whatever date you want. So, I was finally got into the school. Then, headmaster told, go to that classroom where I am supposed to go, the first level, first level or whatever. I don't know whether it's a kindergarten or lember, class one, whatever. The moment I went, the teacher, even as a kid, my uh, grandfather nicely put up all the sacred ash. If you see our Gurukul kids, how they are, exactly the same makeup. I am going and standing, but in white, white dress. This fellow could not handle. He said, what is this? Like a whitewashed, whitewashing, 
They, how they do whitewashing for the wall and the house. Like a whitewashing you have done and came. Tomorrow you should come without all this whitewashing. I did not answer. I just looked up, looked him up. <laughs> just by my look, I killed him. <laughs> this exactly. I put my hand, both the hands like this. Mm? Mm. And went away. I just walked out, went away. Next day again my grandfather brings me and puts me in the school with all the same full makeup, my makeup and cosmetics. My grandfather is very orthodox, shy white family. He brought me up with so much of orthodoxy and even after all my enlightenment, incarnation, still my personal life is a highly orthodox life. Still, I will keep up all the, the traditional orthodoxy. Anything which I touch before taking bath, I will not touch after taking bath, whether it is a cart or bed or <laughs> cloth, anything, I will sprinkle water on all of them if I have to touch them again. <laughs> By mistake, if, I, if that touches my body, I will again go and take bath once more and come back. <laughs> Any of you, South Indian Brahmin family? So then whatever I am saying, you will all know, your grandmother would have lived. I don't think you guys are living like that. <laughs> your grandmother would have lived, your grandfather would have lived, all this. But still in my personal life, I keep all this. And Manu says, Manu is the, the definer of orthodoxy. How many times you have to brush, how many times you have to wash, I will do exactly everything literally. <laughs> Literally, I will do <laughs> all that. Anyhow. So, second day I went to the school, again with that whole makeup. I am giving you a little background introduction so that you understand the whole situation. Again, this teacher got completely shaken. Because I didn't care. I just, sec second day with the full makeup I am coming, he called me, hey, I told you not to come with this whitewash. Again you came? Me, same response. <laughs> uh? Uh -huh. No agitation, no perturbed, no desperation. Completely ignoring him, not caring, not bothered. That only irritated him. Immediately he threw the chalk piece in the hand. That chalk piece they will have to write on the blackboard. He threw that and said, come to the teacher's room. In every school there will be one small room where these teachers will sit and have tea and smoke and flirt with the lady teachers. There will be one room. And this fellow said, come to the teacher's room. And he went away to the teacher's room. I didn't bother. I slowly walked. When I reached the teacher's room, I am supposed to stand outside and ask, excuse me sir, take the permission and go inside. That class leader, he told me, this is the way you have to do and all that. I went but I straight walked into the room. The moment he saw me, he got up and he rushed towards me to hit. Or to tell, how dare I walked inside the room without asking, excuse me sir, may I come in sir. He, he got up actually to hit me. The, how I responded, you know, I was responding as if he got up seeing me. I said, please be seated. <laughs> That's it, that fellow's kundalini has gone up. And He cut hold of my one hand and started twisting and started wiping my vibhuti. The moment his hand touched my vibhuti, that's all, my kundalini has gone up. <laughs> and I just held his one hand with one hand, that's all. 
at least my ten teeth has gone into his hands. And he's screaming, hey, leave me, hey, leave me, hey, leave me. And real bite, not ordinary, real bite. And it took at least two, three minutes for him to get released. I bit him in the right hand. And nicely. And finally when he, he released his hand, he saw it's bleeding. And all five, six teeth mark. And I was nicely wiping my <laughs> <laughs> mouth and cleaning <laughs> with my hand key. I had a small hand key in my trouser. With that I was cleaning and all that. And this fellow started screaming, I, I will go and tell the headmaster and throw you out of the school. I just looked up and told him, if you go, in Tamil I said, Vadiyat headmaster boy chonna, oom maananda boom, or chinna paimona karchi vishtanne. I told him, if you go and tell the headmaster, it is only shy for you, shame on you, because a small kid has bitten you. <laughs> And that fellow was so angry. He said, even if it's shame on me, it's okay. I'll go and tell the headmaster. And the next word which I uttered only, I shook him. He had an extramarital affair with another one teacher. And both of them will come to the temple every day and sit under the banyan tree. And that, usually I used to sit on that tree only. So, I've heard about them, but I never thought I'll go to the same school and same teacher. And they will come and sit and flirt there only. It's a remote area in the temple. I usually used to sit on that banyan tree. I'll uh, sit and sit on the banyan tree playing and we will be playing around in that area only. Because we were kids and these two will never bother about us. And they would have never expected I will come to the, the same school and, <laughs> under them. And I told him, okay, I told in Tamil, Vanga headmaster pola. You are a teacher in daily school, 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 you are a teacher in school. In Tamil I said, let's go to the headmaster and you tell what I did and I will tell what you and Lakshmi teacher do every day in the temple after the school hours. Come on, let's go to the headmaster. That's all. That's all. That fellow took his kerchief and wiped his hand and he told me in Tamil, sorry, go, go. Nii sula da nanu sula la. Means, all right, go, go. You also don't tell, I also won't tell. That's all. After that, he never bothered about my vibhuti. My sacradash, he never interfered. Please understand why I want to tell this. The same situation, if any one of you, it could have become a root pattern in you. All I am trying to tell you is, you don't need to develop incompletion. Developing incompletion is not mandatory. I don't have any incompletion about this incident. From the beginning, developing incompletions is not mandatory, which is not sure. See, this situation, there is every possibility I could have developed fear, incompletion so much, which I did not which I did not. How many of you understand what I am saying? That's all. So you need to know whether the... See, I also had a problem from him, but I did not develop incompletion. Whether the other person created problem or not is different, but developing incompletion is whose freedom? It's your freedom. Making incompletion out of that happening is your decision. So, for 100% all incompletion, you are responsible. What they have done may be right or wrong, but it does not need to become incompletion. You see, what the teacher did is complete abusal. Wrong. But I never, it never became incompletion in me. Recently, few years before when I went to Thirunamalai, he came and had my darshan. 
<laughs> because after some time the teacher became headmaster and that uh, he, his wife died and he married the same teacher with whom he had a uh, extramarital affair he married the same teacher and that teacher also died now he is retired he came and uh, touched my feet i picked up the same right hand and <laughs> touched him he said you leave me <laughs> <laughs> leave my hand <laughs> i said okay okay <laughs> it never became a pattern in me incompletion in me even though what he did was completely wrong i never created a incompletion in me so what others may do right or wrong but that does not mean you have to develop incompletion so any incompletion you have developed who is responsible you so who is supposed to do completion you make them understand about completion the other person then explain incident by incident and listen to their response also most of the time it will be completely it would have been misunderstood by you your my world is completely wrong so listen 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 and finally complete tell them clearly whatever is right or wrong now i am dropping it i am completing with you over with this i am not going to carry any more powerlessness in completion with you over declare completion do this with every relationship whoever is alive and reachable if they are not reachable not alive do it only with the mirror and the other person